Hey guys, it's Stefan from Digital Australia and today I'm going to show you how to record a voiceover in the new iMovie 10.0 as it is a bit different to the previous versions. As you can see here, the beautiful new design, it is very nice. I, as you can see, this is the unboxing of the iPad Air that will be probably up later. Uh, so stay tuned for that and I'll just go over how to do the voiceover with this particular video. So I'll just put iMovie into a uh, full screen here. It might be a bit laggy as I'm processing that video here. So there we go. Uh, so I can show you how to do it as it is a bit different. So what we want to do, the main key point we need to remember for this is to press the letter V. So once you have imported your uh, video into iMovie with the import button up here and you've uh, pushed it into the uh, project down here, you want to press V. So that will, uh, as you see, expand the uh, video itself. And then you want to come over so uh, press V, uh, come over, and then we can see the little recording uh, icon is back, what we're used to uh, looking for, what we love and remember. Uh, all you have to do is press V to uh, open that up. Uh, so it's actually not included on the uh, bar as it per usually uh, was, but you just have to press V to open it and is actually probably a nicer and cleaner way to do so. So if we go over to the very right, we can press this just for uh, options, so your voiceover options, so you can choose your import source. And the major one with iMovie is changing the uh, input volume as uh, if you have a louder voice or if your microphone is a bit screechy, you want to turn down that uh, volume bar to say, you know, down there a bit so it doesn't uh, screech when you play back the recording. Uh, so have it at about a medium if you're as per usual and it will work very well as you can do some adjustments after the recording. So once you've done that, you can just hit the little microphone and it will do your countdown, three, two, one. And once that's done, you can see it will start recording down here and then your video is playing back. I mean, your recording is playing back as your voice. Uh, record that there. Do as long as you want. Once you're finished, hit the space bar and you can see that is finished. The 11.1 .1 second recording under my uh, previous voiceover from the unboxing of the iPad Air. You can see it's underneath there. Once you've done that, you can change anything around. You can see once you click, uh, it's a bit different to uh, the previous iMovie uh, versions, we can adjust the volume just with a kind of a sidebar. So you can see when it pops up there, the two arrows, we, want, we can drag it up, up to 400%, or we can drag it down to anything lower. As I said before, if you're screeching, drag it down a bit. As you can see, perfect. You can. Ch it's very easy. This is such a great design of iMovie 10.0. So that's how to do a voiceover in iMovie 10.0 version, the new one for your OS X Mavericks. Hopefully you enjoyed if you learned something and now understand how to do it. If you're worrying before, hopefully I've answered your questions. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Stay tuned for the iPad Air unboxing and I'll see you guys in the next video.